Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the outer tie rod on a Chevy Trail Blazer. This is the 5.3 liter V8. So let's go ahead and get started with that. You want to start first of all jacking the car up in the air. Always use jack stands. Don't rely strictly on the jack. I've had these things fail in the past. So you always want to make sure you have jack stands under the frame. But once you have it up, let's go ahead and remove the tire. Okay, so we have the, the wheel off now, so let's come here behind it so I can show you where the, all the different parts are. All right, coming right here, this is your outer tie rod right here. This piece, your inner tie rod goes that way, but this is the part that we're gonna be replacing right here is the outer tie rod, so let's get a close up on that. This is held on right here by a 21 millimeter nut that has to be taken off so we can pull that down. And then coming back this way, You'll need a 22 millimeter, and then to hold this one while you're rotating this one, you'll need a 27 millimeter. Now to complete this task, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a 22 millimeter wrench, a 21 millimeter wrench, and then either a 27 millimeter wrench or adjustable pliers that can grab that 27 millimeter uh, nut when we connect the, uh, the outer and inner tie rod. So next you'll need a set of gloves. Also need a measuring tape because we're going to need to measure the distance so that way we don't throw the alignment out of whack. You need some penetrating oil, which comes in handy when you're dealing with parts that have been on a while and some of those connections are pretty tight, so that helps lubricate it. And last but not least, you'll need the new outer tie rod piece. All right, now that is very tight on there. If you don't have a um, breaker bar or an impact wrench that you can use on that, you just have wrenches. It's very easy to make your own breaker bar with connecting two of these wrenches. Um, if you need to know how to do that, I did a video on that. You can check it out via the link above. But I'm going to go ahead and connect the 22 millimeter to this one, turn this into a breaker bar. We'll get that off with no problem. Connect those two. Give it a good pull. There we go. There we are. Before we remove anything, we want to get a measurement from the bottom side of this nut to the center of this stud right here, because that'll be the setting that the new outer tie rod has to be in order to keep the alignment in order. So let's put a measuring tape on that. So going from the bottom of that nut right to the center, and it looks like we are right about nine inches exact right to the center. So that's how we'll set the new one. We're going to spray all these connections here with some penetrating grease. Started to take that one off, and it's moving, but it's very tight. So spray that. Spray that. We're good. Let that sink in. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the tie rod here. These can be a little bit tight, so soak it with some penetrating oil for a while, let it sink in. You may have to use a mallet or a hammer to tap it down. This case here, I've already loosened it. So, there we go, dropped out already. And you can see here, this thing is supposed to be nice and firm. This thing is gone, definitely in need of being replaced. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and we need to undo this jam nut. So we're going to have to use the um, adjustable pliers or 27 millimeter to hold that nut in place while we then use a 22 millimeter to rotate the jam nut so we can unlock that and unscrew this whole outer tie rod out of here. Trying to remove the jam nut here. This thing is on there very tight. So the adjustable pliers did me no good, so I had to break out the heavy equipment. So I've got that on there now so you can get some leverage. So we'll take the 22, put that here. Basically, you're going to be going counterclockwise on the jam nut while going clockwise on the 27 millimeter nut behind it. So as you bring the two like that, there you go. 
just work it off. All right, so we have this loose enough that I can just unscrew it out of there. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out and just unscrew it until it comes out. Okay, let's go ahead and let's open this up. And here's your here's the outer tie rod. There it is. The rubber boot looks great. Everything looks awesome. And what I like is this one here also has the connector that we can put on there so that if you need to connect it to um, to add more more grease to it with a grease gun the factory ones don't have that so we can add that valve on there so that's cool so we can add that back on so everything looks good we're ready to put it on next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we have that nine inch setting on here so as it goes back in it'll be just as the other one was so let's see where we're at right now right now we're at almost nine and a quarter so let's adjust that Almost. And we are a couple more turns and I think we are good. So we're right at nine. Perfect. Ready to put it in. Put the new one in. Go ahead and thread it up. Before we Screw that all the way in. We're going to go ahead and put the grease fitting valve on there. And for this particular one, you're going to need a 9 30 seconds bit. Go ahead and tighten that on there. There we go. Went ahead and hand tightened all this in. I'm going to go ahead and just confirm the measurement is still 9 inches since that nut does move a little bit we're right exactly at nine to center so we're good to go I'm gonna go ahead now and place this in here that way that'll hold that hold that for us while we tighten up the rest of it go ahead and get the nut on that and then we'll go ahead and tighten these back here and then tighten everything else up Everything's pretty much tightened. Just gonna go over it one more time. There we go. Okay, that's good. Let's tighten up the other one. This nut has been put on, tightened all the way down. Next, we're gonna go ahead and feed in the cotter pin, slide that through, and then I'm gonna go ahead and spread that out to lock it, and then we'll go ahead and put the tire back on. All right, well, the cotter pin has been put on. Everything is nice, tight, and secure. We're ready to put the tire on, so let's go ahead and get that wheel in place. drop the vehicle and uh, put the cover back on there but that pretty much wraps up this video on how to replace the outer tie rod on a Chevy Trailblazer. I hope this video helped you out. Please send me any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support. So please like the video and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.